Welcome back to another evening video. Yesterday I had a day off, so I was at home working quite a bit, but Adrian wanted the camera to film. Got some work done on the menorah spreader. And, uh, yeah. Don't pay attention to how the wells look. They look absolutely terrible. We got this new welder that needs some work. And, uh, we're just kind of still, still kind of learning how to use it. Alright, I just moved the hay line out of the way. Now, let's go plowing. Clouds are giving away a little bit. Might just be dry enough to go plow. We hauled manure in this field here this week. And last fall we hauled on the other side there. And this week we just put a little bit on, called it good just thinly over there and this side we hauled all the cattle manure over here and down at the Criswell farm we hauled those two loads that were down there it's two decent sized loads and we hauled out down there now it's just the horse pens that need cleaned out and then we're done hauling manure for the season contact fires right up Every time. All right. It's after supper here. And since Adrian's not feeling too hot, he normally do this job. I'm gonna take five of these bales, which is the partnership's bales, uh, to one of our neighbors that they're sold to. They're just being stored here until he's ready for them. One, two, three, four number five here all right one more cut no you're not allowed to drive from here on i have to drive you're not old enough okay all right we got everything loaded up me and gavin are gonna go take this down i'm gonna drop it off where we pick up our calves ready to go yeah okay yeah, let's go as you can see there on the western skyline there's a white wall that keeps moving this way. White wall or rain, which is a good thing. It's kind of dry, somewhat. It's not too awful, but it is starting to dry out a little bit. It'd be nice to have a little bit of rain for this field. We got a little bit today and that helped, but it'd be nice to have a, bit, a little bit more. Pump it fall apart better so it doesn't plow as hard because it plows extremely hard right now dad's busy plowing tonight adrian's not feeling too well uh what is that good i could do hmm. hmm i definitely couldn't weld well i'm gonna weld work on the manure spreader some more tonight now that i have a chance again Keeping an eye out for patches, for holes that we need to patch, like them small ones. I think I'll work on patching this one. So I can get my stick, stick with the stick water to here. I'll just kind of tack it in place. Not just tack it, but weld it in place a little bit right there. Maybe. I don't know. Possibly not. We'll see. Well, ugh. stay. I did a little bit of welding. And, uh, I forgot to do my chores earlier. I had pretty much right away went plowing when I got home from work. So I need to go do that. And I think I'm going to be done for the night, even though it's only 8 o'clock. All winter, we've been storing some soybeans. 
for one of our neighbors that we sold them. And we would like to get them out of the equipment shed now. And he wanted to grind them up so that way he can blow them right into the bin, right out of the bin wagons that we have here that they're sitting on. I just got a call two minutes ago or so. Take the 6150 and take the soybeans there right now. After chores? No, right now. So, if you want to hook the 6150, hook it up to that bin wagon and take it up there right now. All right, we got the first of the of two wagons hooked up and just unloaded a pallet full of seed that just showed up. And yeah, ready to go. Should be around a 10, 12 mile round trip. So we'll see you either sometime along there or when we get back. All right, I just weighed the first wagon. The front axle weighed 74, 75, so 7,475 pounds. Got to wait till the vehicle gets across the smaller bridge. Uh, the back axle weighed 7,160, so 7,100 pounds, 7,160 pounds. Got the wagon unloaded. This road is rough. Uh, I was only able to run about 20 miles an hour on the way up because the wagon, the running gear so wore out, so it just sways like crazy. And it probably weighs more than this tractor does. Uh, but yeah. Now we can run about 24, 24 and a half, something like that, for five or six miles home, so it won't, shouldn't take too long. All right, time for load number two. This one, probably a little bit more weight, but I don't know, we'll go weigh it, we'll see what it weighs. The front axle ended up weighing 19, not 19, 9260. So it'd be 9,260 pounds. Back axle, back axle 8495, 8495 pounds. So pretty much 8,500 pounds. He's got somebody in to grind the feed and blow it right up in his bins, so that'll be pretty nice. I'm just gonna sit here, wait till the wagon's empty, and I gotta take both of them back home. Got both wagons hooked up in train, we're in a line. Now we're gonna head home. I gotta drop the back one off, which I think we have the lightweight of that one. Uh, but I gotta get the lightweight of this other one. It's one of our neighbors, and we, then we'll just use the pick up and drag it back up to wherever it needs to go. Let's go on a trip a couple minutes away. We're at a farm sale where a guy died here a couple months ago. His farm's gonna sell and everything that he ever owned. Well, his farm equipment and stuff. So this guy hasn't been farming for I don't know how many years. And well now all the neighbors left so we can film. There's a few things I'd be interested in. Something like this. Cherry picker. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. This this farm's gonna be interesting to see what it sells for. It hasn't been, it's never been sold since my grandpa moved up here from Lancaster County in like '71. So this farm has not been sold for what would that be, 50 years? And it's always had the one owner, so it's gonna be really interesting to see what it sells for. It is beautiful land some of the nicest land in the county or some of the farm there's a little bit of a pretty nasty hill up there but that's not I mean you can deal with that it's like 163 acres and it's a very nice farm but it's probably going to go for more than what we can pay for so we're not going to buy it um i just hope that whoever buys it doesn't put chicken houses on it so we're probably going to have to pay a lot of money for it. Well, if they buy it, it's what they they can do with, with it what they want. Well, let's go through the rows a little bit, see what they what he's got. There's an old uh, plow, one bottom plow. Back in the day, they had stuff that hit you up here. And if it pulled, if you hit a rock or something, you would just stop. And you wouldn't even move like the plow would stop you'd be able to keep going and dig detach almost right beside it this is five bottom 
John Deere plow. No reset. Uh, so it tells you one thing. He probably doesn't have a lot. Of, didn't have a lot of rocks around here. This would have been a pretty big plow back in the day. Oh yeah, that's what that is. The height adjustment, I believe. I think he's gonna have. I think there's gonna be like 17 some tractors being sold, which he was a tractor collector. So yeah. What else? Oh, this barn. It's a. It is a bank barn. But I think I can think of. There's two in the area, and they're about a mile apart. Actually, the other one, like this, got just torn down with the big hoop. Most of them are more the, oh, well, I don't know what you call them exactly, but what the Dutch would have built, Pennsylvania Dutch, with the one that's sitting across there. You can't see it like ours are. Most of them, 90% of them, especially the old ones, are built like that. 99% maybe even of the old ones. But then there's just these two oddballs have the big round roof not sure but I'm gonna guess by the equipment and uh, yep this is definitely was a dairy farm there's milk filters not sure what that is so it looks like here we've probably tied the cows up milked them fed them here and uh, the middle road went down there nice pen pack pen wow this is a nice oh man Got that all locked up. I don't know if you can see inside or not. Hmm. I'd love to see in there. Just to see what's in there. I've never been in a round barn like that. So that'd be pretty cool. We also got this nice silo. Okay, that was pretty new. Or new enough for unloader because there's an unloader cable winch going up there. It's good old. Oh, what do you call it? Corn crib. Used to be one on one similar to this at the Criswell farm too. That blew down when I was real small though. You can fill up the sides of the of your shed here with corn. Then you can pull equipment in between here. And that was would have been cob corn back before combining. So you would have picked all your corn and put it in there. Well, looks like the places to get into the barn are either locked or then like 10 feet high so we're not even gonna go in there oh well it'll probably be opened up Saturday I think it is today's Thursday yeah that's locked too that's fine these people that are getting this together I'm not sure that they're farm people or farm kids it's the way stuff is kind of lined up you can tell these people did not go to a farm auction before or at least not it seems like they didn't do too much of farm auction stuff, which is fine. That's how it goes. Got a row of tractors here. A bunch of nice restored and some unrestored. And then some newer ones up at the end. This is something that'd be interesting to have. Do it, Cyrus. Do so. Here's a, another unique toy. Uh, new idea unit system. The auction that we're at, we're at, is land joining to us. Like right over the hill. 165 acres. Well, pretty much 165 acres. But we came home for lunch because it is way too expensive there. Like $1.25 for a can of soda. Uh, now, I think the family is getting the money from that. But they're also selling the farm, so they might make millions of dollars today. If they'd be giving the money from the lunch stand to a school or something else, or benefiting somebody like most auctions in this area do, then I'd maybe stay there for lunch, but it is just way too expensive. Had a nice quick lunch. 
Wait, I need you to get in the vehicle here and then we can head back down, watch some more stuff. See what we got. We got a manual for our roller bar rake and uh, we got one of these. That's just a collector's toy. Massive Ferguson. Pacemaker. That's an old old tractor. And we also got two more toys that are still up in the barn that we have to go get. Farm sold for three point nine million dollars yeah that's what it sold for so I think it was around twenty three twenty four thousand dollars an acre which is probably about what about what it's worth moving on through the equipment pretty good you're still up in the barn selling they're gonna be up there for a long time yeah all right we got a pile of wood because it came with this beam that worked perfect to fix the barn floor where necessary for the beams we're just here loading it don't worry we're going a quarter mile down the road so it'll be fine we'll take the ranger it's close enough all right got the ranger unloaded which just so happened to be the low dollar stuff because some of the collectibles collectibles were more than three dollars or so uh which those are we're in a truck we got them unloaded too Adrian's got started unloading the red truck now where I have some ramps and stuff and some steel some scrap steel that I have some projects for um what else okay, we also have to go back there and what's it called oh, take some stuff up from my aunt to her place which isn't far away we'll do that right after this pretty much everything's unloaded now we're just gonna hook back up to the trailer with the pickup and go hook up uh not hook up grab some shelves and stuff for my aunt take it to her place this is a backwards sticking to the fence with shot nice yeah i decided to stop in here at my field and kind of glad i did this is the second tree down in the field tonight out of two and a half, two and a half acres, which it's, covered, it's surrounded completely by trees, but still, I'll just throw them off, throw them in, get rid of them. That way somebody doesn't come and hit them with a disc bind. Since this, like a 50 foot rotten tree smashed everything down, might as well come and look at this big concrete. I think it's a packer. I think, what it looks like. Yeah, there's a hitch somewhere here. Ow. Mm. That's down in the ground, but yeah. That's just a little packer there. Solid concrete. That's pretty cool. And Adrian's trying to hit me with sticks as he's throwing them in. Yep, that's right, buddy. This tree's completely rotted. Alright, let's go for it. No. Stop it. You're up. All I'm really looking for out here is if there's any trees fell in, if anything really needs trimmed up, and how the stand's coming along. I reseeded this two years ago, I think it is now, or this would be the second year. Second cutting season of it. 
it's looking a little, it's looking a little bit better every year i'm up here where it's heavy and then there's this i don't know what this stuff's called if anybody knows you can let me know but this kind of stinks or has a different smell to it there's quite a bit of stuff up here in the top corner but yeah otherwise i like how this is looking so far dad's coming in the lane maybe he's finishing up plowing actually the farm sold for 3.9 million dollars about 165 acres or almost 165 acres it's 23 or 24 thousand dollars an acre so it sold pretty decent and which was it sold for about what farms are bringing in our area uh for that 20 to 25 thousand an acre mark it just seems like a lot of like a lot of money because it's a lot of ground which is expected but yeah i think this is going to be the end of the video thanks for watching see you in the next video this is a backflip into the fence <laughs>